cats that think they know it all. They don't really know it all, but they will put on a great act. And if you buy into it, you could go down a rabbit hole or on this tangent that yields no fruit. <laughs> so things that you should do versus shouldn't do. The shouldn't do is don't challenge or confront them aggressively. Their only way out is to counteract with even grander claims and louder persuasion. So that's not going to help this behavior. And then also don't um, give in to stretch the truth in the other direction or you're going to lose your credibility. Right. Yeah. Think they know it all, you know, um, is coming out of that attention appreciation. Uh, and they're just talking, you know, because they need to have extreme ego need to be the center of attention. Now, true know-it-all, which comes out of get it in control, really does know a lot. They have a depth of knowledge that is valid. Uh, their problem is they're unwilling to hear what others have to say. Think they know it all does not have any depth of knowledge. It's just talking because they need to have this need for attention. And I, I notice in all our surveys that we've done for our last IMS seminars, the think they know it all surprisingly, shockingly has come out higher. And I think uh, I've been talking about with Rick Kirshner just yesterday about this and working on our book. And we think it relates part to this whole social media thing where people can get uh, some reference structure Reference structure is like, I heard this or I read that or whatever. And they, uh, you know, it's, it's the generalization thing. You stop at two or three red lights in a row. You say, oh, the lights are red today. You meet two or three people in a bad mood. Everybody's in a bad mood today. So you read two or three things online and all of a sudden you're speaking like you're some kind of expert on a topic where there really isn't the depth. You haven't totally researched it. You've just kind of bought the farm, so to speak, and believe it in your, your own mind, but there is no, there is no depth there. I agree with you. I, you know, I think also though, in, in social media, everyone wants to be an influencer. Everyone wants to get appreciated, known for something. So you're right. I think they read a few articles and they think, okay, now I can confidently speak on it. Now I'm going to present my case, my opinion. You go into these echo chambers and it's just, um, it's self-reinforcing, but in the end, it's, it's very superficial. Yes. There's not a whole lot of depth, but it's that need to impress people, to get appreciated, to be an influencer because they see everyone else doing it and they're trying to do the same thing. Yeah. And as you said, they're in a, a group where everybody's thinking the same thing. So it seems like, oh, well, everybody knows this and all, all of those other stupid idiots who believe something else, you know. Uh, oh, you're right. And so for those things, they know it all. If you shouldn't challenge or confront them, you shouldn't stretch the truth in the other direction. Give us a few quick tools that are techniques that people can use to really have a better relationship with them. Well, be, you could be curious, like, okay, oh, that's interesting. And what makes you say that? Uh-huh. And where did you read that? Uh, and who was the author of that? Or what group was that? And, oh, okay. And where would, uh, and what else? Tell me more. What else have you read in that? You would innocently ask questions to get more and more specific about where it's coming from. And what happens is you hit bottom pretty quick because there isn't really a depth of knowledge there. It's like, well, in my online group, da, 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 and before you know it, it, it kind of gets revealed that this is just a huge generalization. Uh, and if it's if you're in a group setting, let's say it's a business setting and we're, we're talking about something, the danger of think they know it all, let's say a business setting is they can make a bad idea sound good and everybody follows them over a cliff into the sea. So if you need to start asking questions of your think they know it all, before you know it, they go from almost specific to more generalizations and everybody gets it, that this person doesn't really know what they're talking about. They're just talking. And so that saves the, the group. Uh, in a relationship, personal relationship, you know, it just kind of falls apart in front of you. At the same time, if they care about having a relationship with you, uh, then talk about stuff that you guys agree on you you know just because that and any that's rapport and at a rapport you can talk about other things that are more touchy so you just got to keep innocently asking questions as there there is no real depth to that and then it kind of falls apart i like that clarifying the specifics you know you can tell it like it is i i like the other tool that i've heard you say in the past is is give them a break when it becomes obvious they don't know what they're talking about. 
resist the temptation to embarrass them. Instead, make them allies by giving them a way out 